Hi, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I think I will flip us over to our above overhead view. For this project, I'm going to use um, Tangy Tangerine. I'm going to use Gold Treasure. And we'll do a little accent in the citrus green. So using all of the colors. There, there's, what did I say? 30, 30 different colors. So we've got lots. So I'm going to start with a card base of five and a half inches by five and a half inches. This is square on uh, white cardstock. And then I'm going to die cut using um, one of the filigree flowers from the Hunky Dory collection. Um, I'm going to die cut that. I've used the inner, the inner die and the outer frame die uh, to cut myself a square. Here we've got that. And I love these stone dies. Um, because, you know, it punches them all out, but it also just cuts some pieces so you can pop them up and I'll, I'll get into die closer to the end. I really like these style of dies. Um, all right. So we're going to mount that on our stamping platform. This collection has correlating stamps. And So here's the correlating stamp, um, and it says on the back it shows you where to mount them for to line it up with the die cut, um, and says the die that it correlates to. So this one, the FTLS six five three, correlates with M stone two six seven. Um, so I'm going to grab these bits. So the, the sentiment is different than what the die cut sentiment is. The die cut says heartfelt thoughts, and then of course a note to say thank you in the stamps. So we could stamp this with just regular ink, but I want to use um, I want to use our stamp on to this. So we're gonna do this false project. Um white hard stock and our three colors of metallic. Um, here we go. That's the right spot. And just line it up with the die cut in behind. I better move my magnets over there. And I'm going to go um, in with my tangy tangerine. Yes, the dies are compatible with the Sizzix Big Shot. Thanks for the question. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just dab on my metallic gilding polish. Don't want any chunks or anything. So there's the tangy tangerine. And then I'm going to go over top with a little bit of that gold treasure just to blend you know, some of those gold flecks in there. Oh, I got a bit of a gob, but that's all right. There we go. And it just adds a little um, accent to the center of our lily, I guess. <laughs> and then we add our next one on. Again. Line up as best we can. Tap our orange on. And then tap our gold. Beautiful. I've just continued stamping on with the two metallic gilding polish colors. Let's 
and we've just about done that. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to set that aside to let um, those stamped images dry up a little bit. And we're going to work on a little bit of our background. Well, you know what, since we're here, why don't we just stamp our sentiment into the, this is the die cut from the center of our same die. I'm gonna grab our stamped sentiment. Pop that on. I'm gonna go with um, my gold metallic. This is the gold treasure. I really love the way this stamps. It's beautiful. Lightly tapped on. And again, stamping platform is key for these guys. Make sure you get a nice layer on there. There we go. Okay, so we got our sentiment done. Pull that off. Now we're going to do a background. So just using a piece of white cardstock cut to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm going to give it a coat with our tangy tangerine. And I want, you know, not thick coat, but I want it to be quite orange for us. And just by adding more or less water onto your applicator, you can get different um, um, saturations of the color, which is nice. So from one pot, you can get you know the whole range of shades kind of. So there's our orange. Set that aside to dry. Better wipe that up. And then I'll show you what I mean um, by adding, or one of the things I mean anyways, <laughs> by adding more water. So I've just got a little container full of a little bit of water and I'm gonna grab a gob of my, um, my gold treasure. Not much, it doesn't take a whole lot. And I'm just gonna mix it in to this water with my applicator. I really, this is more than I'll ever use, but you know. You can see all of the, um, the mica swirling around in that color. It's just packed in there. I like that. And then I'm just going to give, I've got another sheet of cardstock that I cut with the, um, the outer die. So it's going to fit perfectly in behind um, the, the uh, filigree flowers. And I'm just going to bring that out and just do a nice light swipe of the gold, just for a soft background look. Something subtle, but still gives us that shimmer on there. Can you still see, I hope uh, the camera picks up. Still a very gilded look, but a lot more subtle here. I'll show you if I was to take the gold and just do a swipe of just the gold. It is quite um, saturated, these gilding polishes. And actually, do you wanna see it on black? Since we're here, very saturated. It's lovely.
There you go. So that set aside. Now I'm going to grab, I have two dry sheets of that. that I'm going to pick up and I'm just going to mount them together here with a little bit of double-sided tape or foam or whatever's going. Even as I can. There we go. And then, oh, ooh, I better close up my olive here for now. And mount that onto our card base. There we go. And then I'm going to grab, oh, wipe up my mess. I'm going to grab our filigree flower die cut. And a water brush. And um, now that this has dried, I'm going to do a little watercolor. Again, because it is water based, we can stretch it out and kind of fill in these lilies. I guess mine are tiger lilies. <laughs> or, yeah. Um, fill it in. I can mix it right on here if I want. Right on my lid because it's all just going to go back in the pot, anyways. And I'm just going to add some color to my petals. So I can make it more concentrated towards the edges or the center, whatever, to add a little dimension to these flowers. Keep going. I could paint my butterfly pink if I wanted or do a nice little monarch style butterfly to kind of keep with the color scheme. Adding that orange in. And then I'm going to, you know, obviously finish that uh, if I'm making the full card. And I'm going to grab, I'm using the citrus green gilding polish. Just give my brush a little wipe off. Citrus green, I'm going to use it to just grab a touch and color in any leaves that are around. Just adding a little bit of that contrasting color in there to bring it to life. Here and there, there's a couple. Where? Another one over here. That kind of thing. Just, just some leaves every once in a while. So once that's done, I'll add a little bit of my gold polish just to the edges of the die cut. I'm going to add it to the center too, I think, just to kind of finish it a bit. Give it a little vintagey feel. There we go. Just frames it nicely, I think. Then I will attach, I could detach this with foam pads or whatever. Here, I'll show you the one that I actually finished all of the watercolor on. You can see the shimmer. The uh, image that we stamped with the gilding polish is still there. Once it dries, you really do, you would have to kind of really scrub at it um, to get that to come off. You can see my brush is wet and it's really not moving around. So once this polish dries, it stays basically where it's at. So I think that that is very cool. So you get the really 
glinty look of the uh, stamped lilies there. So I will attach that to my card base with a little bit of glue. Again, you could use foam pads if you wanted to pop it up nicely. Uh, this is the, um, um, just the like regular cardstock. I think this is the coconut white from Creative Expressions. Pop this down. Now, if you remember that die cuts out some of the petals and leaves and the butterfly wing for us. So we can go in with our pokey tool and just pull them up and give them a nice little bend. You might wanna <laughs> do it a little bit before you glue it on. And pull up all of these different elements to give a nice 3D look. Can you see that coming along there? And I mean, they've even done the butterfly wings pop up. It's just really lovely touches to bring your card to life. Then we'll top on our sentiment with some foam tape. I think I'm gonna add some gold to the edge of that. 